In this tool, we're going to be looking at how to draw simple graphics onto the screen. Now, the first thing we need to do is, as always, import Pygame and initialize the Pygame screen. We've then got these two lines of code. So we've got screen equals display.setMode 640 by 480. What this does is essentially uh, creates a screen um, which we can then draw onto. Um, Display.set mode essentially opens up a game window um, and sets it to be the size you want to. Notice that this is stored inside double brackets. Okay, um, the double brackets are required. Um, essentially, what set mode is taking is what's known as a tuple. Okay, you won't have come across tuples before uh, unless um, you've done your own private research. But essentially, a tuple's a bit like a, a list but you can't change the value inside it. Okay? Um, it's a way of passing um, multiple values through as a single variable. So set mode uses a single tuple, which has two parts to it. The first part is um, going to be 640, the width, and the second half is the height, 480. Display.setCaption will simply change the caption that's on the top of the window. Um, so that's quite straightforward. Now, when you do set the mode, you will return a variable um, which you need to then use later on to actually draw. Okay, so screen is actually going to be the screen we're going to be drawing onto. Okay, so it's important that we are familiar with that. So let's um, let's go down and look at the game loop. Now, as before, we've got a um, event loop, and this time I'm only dealing with one single type of event which is the quit event. Um, the quit event is um, called whenever you close a window. Um, and in this case, when you close the window, I want to just exit my program, which is why I've got end program equals true. Underneath, I've got there, I then got my drawing commands. So screen.fill is essentially going to blank the screen with a single color. Now again, notice that we've got a tuple here. And the tuple, is storing red, green, and blue, or RGB. Now, an RGB value can range from 0 to 254, and through different combinations of red, green, and blue, you can basically create any colour you wish to. If you're not sure what colour you want, or you're not sure the code of it, um, you can open up pretty much any uh, office program, paint program, um, go to custom colours and you can change it. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. I've got a blank Word document and I'll insert uh, on no shape just very quickly to show you what I mean. I can go to shape fill, uh, more fill colours and here's my red, green, blue. So I can choose my colour <clears throat> and then these are going to be my red, green, and blue values. <clears throat> what this line of code is really doing is it fills the screen in that colour. So setting red to be 100, green to be 100, and blue to be 200. Next, I'm using the draw command and the draw rect command to actually draw rectangles and circles. Let's actually look at the rectangle command first. Now the first argument is the screen we draw into. Now this might seem a bit odd initially, but I can actually have multiple screens which I can draw to. Now the way um, to think of a screen is actually more like a bitmap picture, so a bit something like you create in Paint. Um, we can have multiple uh, uh, files open at the same time, but maybe only have one visible to the user at once. We can also maybe copy paste different screens on top of each other and things like that. We'll look at um, how to copy one screen onto another in a later tutorial. Um, just as a print, pre uh, kind of bit of a preview, um, it's known as blitting. Anyway, so we've got to define the screen we're drawing to first. The second one is a tuple with the colour that we're going to draw to. In this case, um, it's full red. And then have got the actual dimensions of the rectangle. 
and that's done as an X position, Y position, uh, width and height. So here I've got um, X position of 10 by 10 and that's the coordinate on screen where the uh, rectangle will start to be drawn. It's then got a width of 100 uh, pixels and a height of 100 pixels. Because the width and height are the same, I'm going to get a square. The last parameter, which you can uh, leave out if you want to, defines the thickness of the lines. Okay, and in this case, it's 4 pixels thick. The bigger the number, the thicker the lines will be. I've then got another rectangle underneath it with the exact same command. I've changed the position on the screen, so it's now at position 200 by 10, same size. But this time I've left out the thickness, and if you leave the thickness out, it assumes you want to fill it in in the full colour. So let's actually run this program, let's actually see what's happening. We'll ignore the circles for now, but as you can see, I've got two rectangles. The first one has um, an outline, so it's a thickness of, of four, and the second one is completely filled in. Notice we've got this lovely kind of purple mauvey kind of colour in the background, which is set by screen.fill. So if you look at the two circles, or ellipses, ellipse is essentially, um, can be a circle, but also it can be like an oval or shapes like that. So again, I pass through the screen, again, I pass through the colour, and it looks like I'm passing the same values through. And in fact, I kind of am. What this does is define a rectangle which the circle is going to be inside. Okay, so rather than trying to define radiuses and things like that, we just simply say, this is the rectangle where I want my circle to be in, um, just make sure my circle fits that. Because I've set it to be a square, it's going to be a perfect circle. If these were different values, for example, if I set that to be 120 and run it, you'll see I get a bit of an oval shape. Again, if I include thickness, it will um, draw an outline. If I leave it out, it will basically fill it in. That's command here on line 29 is very important. I'm going to just take it out for now and run the program again. I see nothing displays. Display to update, what it does is it will draw um, and it will update the, screen, uh, update the display with the current screen you're working on. Um, if you don't, um, if you don't call display update, nothing will be displayed. The reason it does that is because it does all of the work, all the drawing uh, into memory and then basically flips the um, display over. Okay, um, that way you don't see screens being partially drawn, you just simply see uh, the results of the drawing. So that's um, your introduction to um, drawing in Pygame. Um, if you want more draw commands, you can go to the Pygame docs, look at the draw part, and you can see some of the things you can draw. So rectangles, polygons, circles, ellipses, arcs, lines, etc, etc. So have a go at some of these, see how they're done. It also defines um, how to draw it and what you need to include. Um, so feel free to actually practice and try some of these out.